track Shane here from Guitar Work. Shane Swiss from Guitar Work. Welcome back. Um, this is such a beautiful piece. This is Scarborough Fair. Uh, Paul um, Simon Garfunkel's version of that, and uh, iconic version for sure. Uh, we'll take you through bar by bar. I'm gonna go bar by bar. I'll put the bar numbers up on the screen to help you out. And I want to thank you for coming back. Thank you for all your thumbs up, and uh, it's meant the world to me. And uh, comments, suggestions, and uh, this one is is always um, is always a request for sure. I think you'll find, if you've done other finger picking songs, it's not the toughest one to do for sure. We'll take you through it bar by bar, talk to you about uh, a little bit about what right hand fingers might be the best ones to use, etc. Just double check that. I want to send you to, I'll be referring to song sheets the entire time. I'll head to patreon.com slash guitar at work. There are two pages here for you, uh, giving you all the finger picking that we're talking about with bar numbers and everything. It'd be a whole lot easier to, to follow along. Uh, with that for sure patreon.com slash guitar work and thank you to everybody at patreon for uh, for helping to keep the lights on here it's really meant a great uh, deal so thank you for that for sure um let's jump right in we are capo seven no pick in hand this is finger picking capo seven way up there and uh in bar one um we start with something called a13 sus there's a lot of names we could use for this chord but anyway a13 sus does the trick and if you don't know one of those right off the top of your head let's get you a close-up of that there he is there that guy there. I got my uh, first finger on the third fret of the B string and my middle finger on the fourth fret of the D. That's from the capo, of course, right? So you got that little shape. That's an important shape for this song. Uh, you're going to see it all the time. And um, now it's all in the right hand. And I'll mention to you that uh, numbers that I've written, the tablature I've written there, if a line is going down underneath the number, that means it's your right hand thumb. Right hand thumb for that. So anytime you see a line going down, that's a right hand thumb. That's important. And as to which fingers to use on your right hand, if you don't have a system, um, this one falls into that thumb, thumb, thumb. So if it's on the low E, the A, or the D, you want to use your thumb for that. And if it's on the G, you want to use your first finger, B, second finger, and high E is your third finger. So thumb, 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 and then first, second, third. That gives you a bit of a system, and it'll help you with other songs as well. There's lots of other systems out there, and there's plenty of exceptions. Uh, not in this song, but um, it's, it's, it's almost like your home row when you learn to type. So at least you know, you, you can sit down, boom, put, pop your fingers in there, and you're good to go. Um, so we've got this chord loaded up here, and it's all on the right hand at that point. We're in bar one here, and the intro, so we're going open A with the thumb, high E with the ring finger, G string with the uh, first finger, and then comes your thumb again on that four. So here we got four notes so far. We got thumb, ring, first, thumb, and I'll finish it off here with the three on the B string, and then finally the G string with your first finger. Now that's a really important pattern. That's gonna be that's your core pattern for the song. So we may as well get her down here. We're going thumb, ring, first, thumb, middle, and then first. And I'll do a couple of those in a row so you can play along. Here it comes three, four. Here it comes again three, four, and a. Uh, There's bar one. In bar two, all we're gonna do is add the ring finger right here. You almost have a C shape. You, know, you do have a C shape. It's two frets higher than usual. So I've gone from that A13 sus, nasty name I know, but doing first shape, all you're doing is adding the ring finger. Now play exactly the same right hand pattern. We're going bar two, five, high E, first, thumb, middle, and then first finger on that G string. Uh, you have two bars so far. Bars one and two look this way, three, Four. Add the ring finger, same right hand pattern. There we go. So there's two bars. Hey, and there's nothing wrong with stop a tape right there. Stop tape right there and just say, okay. Okay. Again, that is a core right hand pattern for the song, so you're really burning it into your right hand. So stop tape there, come back when you're ready. And I'm gonna go bar one, bar two, and then I'll talk about bar three. Here's bar one again. Bar two. Now I'm gonna take everything off except my ring finger. I'm gonna drag him down two frets, doink, like that. I'm gonna play him individually. Open B, open G, and then second fret. And there's our intro done. Okay, so let me go top again. Bar one. Add the ring finger. Take everybody off, drag them down two frets. And now we're into what I'll call the vamp of the song. That's when that initial bar th bars four and five 
um, go round and round in the song um, several times. So we want to get that down for sure. You're starting out with the same shape we started out with just in the in the uh, in the intro. So we're on bar four here now, same as bar one. And here's a big move here from that A thirteen sus down to an A sus two in bar five. I'm going to drag my middle finger down to the second fret, add the ring finger on the G string at the second fret, right underneath that middle, and play exactly the same right hand pattern. Bar five. Okay, so I'm gonna go from four to five a couple times here. Here's bar four, middle finger drags up, Doink! and then add the first. That was bar four. Bar five, drag that middle down to the second fret, add the ring finger, same right hand pattern. And that's same as bars six and seven. So uh, it's, like, it's like when there's a pause in the vocals, they'll go back and forth on that. So bars four to seven, down we go, up we go, down we go. And sure enough, when the vocal comes in, in bar eight, same thing. It's your A13 sus, bar nine here, A sus two, same. So it's bars eight and nine as well. Hey, when we get to the to uh, bar 10, we're in bar 10 there now. Um, so often in finger picking, when you see a G chord, you can get away with just what we'll call one finger G or a finger picker's G. It's sort of a non-committal G. Um, if you know you won't be using any other strings, it's a good way to go for sure. You can get there quickly and you can add things as required like we're going to here. In bar 10, you're starting out with a pinch. You're playing two notes at the same time. You've got the thumb playing the low E. You've got your middle playing the B string. You play them together because they're vertically aligned on paper there. And then the G string. Then you've got your D string. The thumb. Now the two one you're seeing, I'm going to take my second and first finger, and second finger, second fret of the D, first finger is on the first fret of the B. I'm going to play those together. Notice the ring finger stayed. Okay, so bar 10 up to that point, off he comes. Two fingers going on here, then they're coming off, followed by the open G. Let's do that again. Here's bar 10. That's a popular move. You'll do that in a million songs. Uh, that's often called C slash G, that particular chord. Here's bar 10 again. And get this, bars 11 and 12, we're just going back to our vamp. A13 sus. Bar 12, and dragging back. go. I'm going to recap here. Let's go. I'm going to go right from the intro right up to bar 12 there. I've got it here in my trusty iPad. Again, grab those sheets. Patreon.com. A couple of sheets there for you. Patreon.com slash guitar at work. Grab those. Make it a whole lot easier. Here is bar one, bars one to eight. Here's your intro. Start and top again. Add a ring finger. Bar two. Dragging him down. C major seven. Stop on the two, up to our vent. Bar four, here's bar five. Bar six, it's the same as bar one. Dragging them up and down, bar seven here. And bar eight, up we go again. A13 sus. And A sus two. Bar 10 is your one finger G. Add a couple fingers. Bar 11, same as our vamp. You can see why that's important to isolate that guy. Work on him. Okay, brings us to bar 13 here. Bar 13, we're cooking along. Bar 13, um, uh, C shape. We need a C shape, standard garden variety C here. Nothing special about him. And we're starting out with a thumb, high E, G string. And there's your middle finger and B string. So it's the same right hand pattern as it's already been. The numbers are changing, of course, because you're on a different chord. That's bar 13 again. Bar 14, one finger moves to get you to A minor. Same right hand pattern. Good, bar 13 and 14, back to back here. 13. Bar 14, A minor. Going to a C in bar 15 again, pinched, meaning two notes at the same time, followed by the open G. Now we run to a D, 
and everything you need in the right hand is is in your D chord. So I'm going to do bar 15. Bar 15 is probably the most problematic bar in there. The chord is changing on beat 2, uh, which feels a little uncomfortable. It's a little unsettling there, but uh, it's beautiful. Bar 15 again, starting on a C. Here we go. D. And guess what? In bar 16, you guessed it. Back to our vamp. A13 sus, drag them to A sus 2. 18, same, up we go, 19, okay, bar 20, you're going to have a little bass walk coming, we're at the bottom of page 1 here, bar 20, A sus to doing this guy, abandon ship and here's your bass walk, that's up to the first uh, note in bar 21 there, so let me do 20 again, bar 20, A sus 2. Bass walk, bar 21 is a C. There we go, 22, oh, this is gorgeous. It starts out on a C shape, this way here, start regular C shape, and we're gonna play two notes at the same time, followed by the open G. Now G slash B, that chord is this guy, it can be many things, but it's, in this song it's that. Middle finger, second fret of the A, pinky, third fret of the B, and you play those two notes together. Followed by the open G, that's called a pedal tone, that open G. And I'm going to go to a one finger A minor. You may have seen a move like that in the boxer not long ago. Let's do 22 again. I'm loading up on a C, two notes together. Followed by the open G, G slash B. This guy here, two notes together. Open G, A minor 7, one finger, we'll do it. And bar 23, we're landing on a G. There we go. And hey, you may have to stop tape. Constantly stop tape get get those together come back. We're gonna play the whole thing through in a minute here uh, Once we get through it and we're almost there. So bar 23 we're heading to that one finger G again here It is here and we're gonna have a similar move coming your way here G Bar 23 now On go those two fingers again. We saw this earlier in the piece and this time you see those little those little uh, slur indicators That's a pull-off. So I've got a two and the one on there and you don't pick it again, you pull them off. And if they're not sounding as loud as you'd like them, try to snap them down toward the floor kind of thing. It's almost like a fake pick stroke and it'll almost be as loud as a pick note. Uh, slur or legato that's called. Here's 23 again with that in mind. G, one finger. And here it comes, two fingers on, pull off. And bar 24, they're going back on. You do pick them that time, open again. They're all picked in bar 24. So let me do 23 and 24, back to back, stop tape, try to read it, try to memorize it as you go. Here's 23. On we go, pull off, 24. A minor, bar 25. And then open G, gonna take that ring finger off at the very last second there in bar 25. Bar 25 again. Open G. One finger G coming in bar 26. And here's our move again. Two fingers on. Now in 27, uh, a bit of an athletic or uh, a little athletic part here. We're going 27. You start with the open. You're on your G shape still. You play your D and B strings open. And now I'm going to pick it once here. Hammer these two guys on and then pull off. So it's one pick stroke for those three attacks. So here it is here. Bar 27. You pick this guy first these two guys, and then pick them again, hammer pull, and followed by the uh, low E, and then the uh, G string open, or G string I should say, and here's 27 again, 27, and let me back it up to 26 to give you a little bit of the context here, 26 to 27. if I played that right. 26, 27 again. That was better. That was better. 26, 27. And then 28, 29, 30, 31. You guessed it. Back. To your vamp. It's your A13 sus to A sus 2. And guess what? 
that is it. That is the whole song. The outro is the same as the intro, ends with this cool harmonic. We'll talk about that there in a sec. Um, so we've got the whole shebang there. Um, let me go through it very, very slowly. I may have to scroll about midway here, bear with me. I'm gonna go right from the intro very slowly. Here it comes. Two, three. Had the ring. Intro, dragon. Bar four and five is your vamp. Bar six, same thing. Bar eight, here we go, vocal in. A sus two. Bar ten, come in here. G. And back to the vamp. Bar eleven. Bar twelve. C, come in, thirteen. A minor and 14, bar 15, back to the vamp in 16, 17, A sus 2, repeat that, 18 and 19. Good, I'm going to scroll here, we're in bar 20, I'll pick it up from bar 20 into 21 here, we're starting on A sus 2, walk into C, 21, beautiful part here. 22, G, on, pull off, A25, 26, G, A13 sus, the vamp. I just want to do 26, 27, and 28 again because I think I slowed it down so much it's hard to figure out. You might have a hard time finding out what the rhythm is there. So 26, 27, and 28. You're starting from the G. Whoop, one more time. 26. repeat several times there's several verses right and you would repeat starting you would go all the way back to bar 8 you'll see that little double dot there with the bold lines drawn so you're gonna you repeat from bar 8 onwards so bar 8 all the way to 31 that repeats and repeats and repeats in the song uh, after you do the last verse the outro as I said is the same as the intro so here it is here 32 Ace, 13 sus add the ring dragging him down Two. Harmonic, when you see a little diamond around a number in tablature, it typically means a harmonic. What's a harmonic? I'm gonna go up to the um, 12th fret. Now that's from the capo, so we're on capo seven, so it's gonna be the 19th fret of your guitar. It's way up there, typically inaccessible if you don't have a cutaway, but we don't have to play, we don't have to finger note. All we have to do is put our finger above the 19th fret, the actual silver fret there, and don't put too much pressure, just ever so delicately, boom. So here's our outro. For it. There we go. That's a harmonic. Hey, so that's it. Round and round it goes. I hope you were able to uh, to get something out of that. And uh, again, I'll encourage you to go to patreon.com slash guitar or grab these sheets um, and you can make your way through that for sure. A uh, beautiful song to sing and a uh, wonderful song to play as well. You get it up to tempo. <laughs> Picking often relies on a little bit getting a little bit of speed so the notes all kind of blend together. If you're going one note at a time, you're reading it at first, you're like, geez, I don't hear the song in there. But once you get that flow, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, it starts to shine. So enjoy that very much. And again, I'll thank you for coming back. Your thumbs up have meant the world over here. I appreciate that very much. Lots of videos coming. And uh, I always have fun doing this. Talk to me down in the comments, ask me questions, send requests. Always glad to hear from you. And I uh, really hope you have fun with this one. We'll see you again very soon. Check out. Bye-bye. Three. And